Hi everyone. This is Ramalinga Prasad Kuppa. Welcome to my channel Pharma World. Today's topic is mean kinetic temperature for stability studies. It is very important to understand the concept of mean kinetic temperature in stability studies. The stability study temperature conditions are derived by this mean kinetic temperature stability study conditions. Stability study conditions are prescribed in ICH Q1 AR2 in a very elaborate way. The content of this guideline is not the part of this discussion. The allowed temperature excursions and the importance of mean kinetic temperature, the MKT, are of importance. The mean kinetic temperature concept should be understood well. Let us see. Section 1.3 of this guide, ICHQ1AR2, prescribes the choice of test conditions defined in this guideline is based on an analysis of the effects of climatic conditions in three regions of the EC, Japan and the United States. The mean kinetic temperature in any part of the world can be derived from climatic data. So the stability study temperatures are derived based on the mean kinetic temperature. The mean kinetic temperature did not exceed 25 degrees centigrade means that the occasional temperature fluctuations were within 15 degrees Celsius and 30 degrees Celsius. So even if there were fluctuations occasionally between 15 degrees Celsius and 30 degrees Celsius, the calculated mean kinetic temperature should not exceed 25 degrees Celsius. Occasional fluctuations are only permissible throughout the study. Stored at 25 degrees Celsius temperature with a range of 15 to 30 degrees Celsius should not be understood that the product can be stored at any absolute temperature between 15 degrees and 30 degrees. The permissible temperature excursions are mean kinetic temperatures and not absolute temperatures. So, for example, since the limit is between 15 and 30, can we store this product at 27 or 29 degrees Celsius? The mean kinetic temperature will fail in such cases. Let us understand more on the ICHQ and AR2 prescription. The glossary section of ICHQ and AR2 and USP 1150 chapter defines the mean kinetic temperature as a single derived temperature that if maintained over a defined period of time affords the same thermal challenge to a drug substance or drug product as would be experienced over a range of both higher and lower temperature for an equivalent defined period. So it is a derived temperature. The calculation seems to be a little cumbersome, but with a couple of attempts, you can easily calculate to derive the mean kinetic temperature. The calculation takes into consideration various aspects between the lowest temperature and the highest temperature during the defined period. The mean kinetic temperature is higher than the arithmetic mean temperature and takes into account the Arrhenius equation. It should be understood that 
the excursions in mean kinetic temperature mkt of a defined period say 24 hours should not exceed 25 degrees celsius so mean kinetic temperature should be calculated from the individual data from the last 24 hours recorded at a frequency of 10 minutes or 20 minutes and check whether the temperature the mean kinetic temperature exceeds the set temperature of 25 degrees celsius it is not possible to obtain a meaningful mean kinetic temperature value from daily readings of simple maximum or minimum thermometers as temperature fluctuation is not a linear function this is another point the minimum and maximum temperatures cannot give the exact mean kinetic temperature value the data loggers and building management systems are capable of recording multiple temperature readings over a time period and some offer the function of calculating the mkt the mean kinetic temperature also over a given time period most of the stability chambers are being provided with data loggers to record the chamber temperature continuously with a defined frequency other important points to note are always the stability study chambers must be equipped with data loggers to record the temperature continuously at a defined rate say every 10 minutes or 15 minutes or 20 minutes this feature should be installed in the stability chambers to establish the recording of the temperature of the stability chamber with a definite frequency the data from a 24 hour period should be evaluated and checked whether or not the mean kinetic temperature did not exceed the set controlled room temperature so it is necessary to take a printout of the data every day and evaluate for any excursions beyond 25 degrees celsius plus or minus 2 degrees to get the mean kinetic temperature value i hope that the important feature of mean kinetic temperature for stability study conditions is understood well thanks for watching for more videos Please do subscribe, like and share also. Please leave a message in comments box for any further support. Thank you.